Okay, hello everyone. My name is Russell Rothstein. I'm the CEO and co-founder of IT Central Station. Uh, in one sentence, we're the Yelp of enterprise technology. Okay, I'll explain to you in a minute what that means. Uh, I want to introduce my co-founder and the tech technical development lead, Natalia Marcus. He's been in some of the events. This is my first event. <coughs> And I said that we're the Yelp of enterprise technology. Um, let's look at how online reviews have changed and influenced the way we make, we make buying decisions as consumers in the B2C world, okay? So it used to be uh, way back when, when we wanted to buy electronics, we'd walk into a store and we would rely on this fellow over here to help us make a decision about which electronics to buy. Uh, today, obviously, we take advantage of online reviews, ratings, recommendations from other real users. Plenty of sites out there that help us make the best buying decision for things like electronics. Let's take booking a hotel. <coughs> it used to be, again, you'd walk into the travel agent, say, please book me a four-star hotel in London, and you have to rely on the expertise of that person to actually give you a good hotel. Uh, today, you actually tap into online reviews and ratings from sites like TripAdvisor and others. Take a look at lo local services. That's something obviously that companies like Yelp have introduced a way to take advantage of online reviews and ratings of local businesses. <coughs> Buying a used car. We used to rely on people like this in order to help us make a decision about which used car to buy. And today, again, there are plenty of websites out there that help us make the best buying decision as consumers. But we're here at the Enterprise Technology Meetup. Okay, so let's talk about buying enterprise technology. And it's amazing to see that over the last 10, 15 years, there have not really been significant changes in the way enterprises make buying decisions about enterprise technology. Software, hardware, services. They're still doing things like relying on a lot of marketing material from vendors, white papers, webinars, ROI studies, case studies, materials that are developed by the vendors. They rely on analysts, Gardeners, foresters, consultants, they have RFPs, RFIs, checklists, whatever. And that's pretty much the way the B2B sales process has happened for a long time now. But really, in our discussions with enterprise technology buyers, what they really want are the same kinds of things that they've been doing in the consumer world. This is tap into real user opinions, reviews from other real users about the products and services that they're considering to buy. Okay? So that's what IT Central Station is all about is enabling the users of enterprise technology to share their information with other real users so that the community can make the best enterprise technology buying decision. So I'm gonna give you, John said, go to the demo. That's what people want to see. I'm gonna give you a demo. It's our beta site. So this is actually <coughs> the first sort of public showing of our site. Uh, we are launching next month, um, but you can go to the site. It is, it is beta, and so what I'll show you <coughs> is live. Um, it's the live site. And you're welcome to go and check it out uh, yourself on your browser. Uh, you go to itcentralstation.com and you'll find here, uh, this is, um, when you go down after you watch the video, which I encourage you to do, you start to browse and see what we've got here. And um, again, you're, you're, we're all familiar here with the concept of reviews and ratings, but it's not something that we're used to seeing necessarily for things like enterprise software storage, networking equipment, cloud services, um, outsourcing services. Those are the kinds of things that we enable users of those technologies to be able to rank and review. And here we've got, and these are real users. We've got hundreds of reviews already in the system today that have come into us uh, through the beta program. And as you can see, these are reviews from vendors such as big four vendors, other large players, as well as from smaller companies and startups. Uh, but the, our, our set of, of products and services are products and services that are for enterprise for enterprises okay so uh, we're not really SMB focused we're targeting the fortune 1000 enterprises and providing a service to those fortune 1000 enterprises to be able to share information about the products and services they use so uh, let's um, just drill down uh, a little bit you could see you know, here are some of the reviews we've got in the system, and again, you're again, you're welcome to to browse through it uh, on your on your own. Uh, and again, a lot of the names and logos that are familiar to you uh, across uh, different uh, hardware, software, services, verticals. 
Um, now, we can drill down into particular category areas. So we actually were talking about virtualization before. Uh, this is actually ser our server virtualization category. Okay, so here is where you can go, just two mouse clicks, and you can see what other real users of VMs, the uh, server virtualization technology, are saying about the products and these products that they're using. Here we've got the top five products in the category, tend to be here, Hyper-V, VMware ESXi, Oracle VM, etc. And then um, you can then go and read the reviews. Now I'll sort of highlight here in the right corner some of the interesting things because we've built deep integration with LinkedIn. Okay, if you noticed on the home page, the way you sign up is through connecting your account through LinkedIn. That's the primary way that you connect through the site. LinkedIn is a professional social network. We are tightly integrated because it is a professional service network, uh, social network, and so what we do is we enable you to discover people who are in your network, your social graph, your professional graph, who can be helpful for you. So for instance, um, I'm logged in, uh, and I see that there are three people um, this is not, uh, not me personally, this is another user uh, from our company who's logged in, has three users in their LinkedIn network that are potential, what we'll call LinkedIn insiders. Means these are three people that you're connected with that actually can help you make a better buying decision or just educate you about buying server virtualization technology. In this case, uh, Rusty, he's a Hyper-V specialist. Now, how do we know that? Um, Rusty is not yet today a member of IT Central Station, but um, what we've done is you, um, for all of you who've gone into LinkedIn anytime the last few months, you know, it comes up and it says, please tell us what are all your skills and expertise. So it's been very clear that they're, they're building that skills and expertise <coughs> knowledge base about all of their users. We're able to tap into all that, and we do that in a very product context. <laughs> so now we can show you, for instance, Rusty, had written in LinkedIn that he knows Hyper-V. So now on IT Central Station, you actually can see, oh, I didn't realize Rusty, the guy that I talked to a year ago at a conference, turns out he's a Hyper-V expert. I'm gonna connect with him, I'm gonna, you know, I, I tend to know him now through LinkedIn, I can connect him directly through LinkedIn, or you can connect <laughs> to him through our system and able to make a better buying decision. Uh, an example here is a, a woman named Lee Ross, also in my network, she works at uh, IBM, and IBM is a vendor in this space. And there's all different criteria that will do that match between LinkedIn users and um, the, the products and services that you're looking for. So then we go, and let's say we uh, drill down, and let's keep going here. Let's say we want to look more at Oracle VM. Um, they're on my short list. I want to look a little bit more. And now I'm actually going to start to read some of the reviews. Again, I know the font's a little bit small here. You can go on the site. These are real reviews, real people. Go ahead and browse through them. Uh, and you can see this is a, a, a real user. It gave it five stars. Um, and it gave it pros and cons. Again, these are the kinds of things that we're used to seeing every day when, when we read reviews of other products. Um, but there's some things that are very special about it. So first of all, you don't see the person's name. Okay. So what we have is a private social network. Now, IT Central Station does the validation that these are real people. We cross-check it with your LinkedIn profile to ensure that the people writing reviews are real users. They're not people posing as users, okay? So we do the validation that these are real users. However, we provide a level of privacy because we found that people who are on the user side of enterprises um, do not necessarily want to reveal their company name, their email address, their own personal name. However, they want to share information. They want to share information. So we provide them a way to share information through these reviews. We validate their identity, we protect their privacy. However, we enable them to connect with one another. So you push this connect user button, then you go straight to write a user, write a message to a user, and now you're able to do the, the connections, the social networking piece. We're actually connecting with other real users. You don't need to know the person's name or email address or company name, but you know that they work for a financial services institution. That's what it said uh, on the review. It said that they worked for a company that had at least 5,000 employees, and it said that they worked in the system administration function. So Anand is not a real person. Uh, Anand is a real person. That's their username. That's an automatically generated username. But that's that is the private person, or is that? That is this person. So non three five nine is a oh. is a is a developer at an e business company with between one and five hundred employees. Okay. 
Okay, so we, we've gener you can change your username, but we automatically generate an anonymous username. You can then contact and then develop those connections with those, <coughs> with those users. So uh, I'm going to encourage everyone, I'm you know, really just going to wrap up now and then I'm going to take questions. Encourage everyone to visit the site, IT Central Station. You can see that we've got reviews and categories and products listed. We have 1,400 vendors, over 4,000 products listed across hardware, software, and services, and across, across all these really nice different categories. Uh, and in terms of the call to action, um, if you are a uh, work on the you know IT side and enterprise, you know this is an opportunity for you to share, be part of the community, read reviews, write reviews, tell us what you think. Now, I'm not really interested to hear what you think about it. Uh, and if you work on the vendor side. Also, this is an opportunity for you to bring your, your happy customers to a place where they can write, uh, not necessarily endorsements, but they can write great reviews, five-star reviews of your products that then can be seen by other people who are checking out the market. So also, if you work on the vendor side, please talk to us and we can help you share with you some of the best practices <laughs> that some of the vendors have already gotten engaged with us and show how they've been able to get some of their happy customers to write great reviews of their products. Okay, we're done. Thank you. Questions? Yes. Do you have any sort of highlights for new products? Uh, a portion of the site that highlights new uh, releases, new products from new vendors, but also what are the vendor selection criteria? Can this platform be used for a fledgling independent software? Great. So great question. What we learned in talking to, to the, the IT users, that they, they want to evaluate products that are sort of enterprise proven, enterprise class, enterprise driven. So we have an inclusion criteria to be included in the site, and that means it has to be a product that has at least 15 active enterprise level customers. So 15 customers that are using the product or service, and they have to be at an enterprise level. Enterprise level is a, a company that has at least 1,000 employees, or $250 million in annual revenues. So not the, the vendor has to be that size, but the 15 users of that product do have to be that size. So you won't see really early stage startups anywhere here. There is a place for it. That's a great idea that we maybe will introduce you know, next year. But at this point, it's for really true enterprise proven um, technologies, products. Yes? So one of the realities of selecting products for enterprise is that you're going to have a wide variety of of interest. You're going to have your, your procurement buyers, you're going to have your, your mm -hmm. users, you're going to have management, you're going to have your technologists. <coughs> What's the focus, or do you provide a way to segment out certain types of reviews so that someone who's looking purely at technical evaluation can eliminate all the all the cruft from, we don't care what users have to say, we don't care what procurement has to say, we just want to look at the technical qualities of the product. Yeah, okay, so uh, great question. So I'll answer it in two ways. First of all, we're finding that people are using it primarily to build a short list. Okay, that it, it's, it's not gonna, it's not like, okay, now we're gonna make a half a million dollar purchase based on some reviews we read on the website. <coughs> However, they will use this in terms of building a short list. Okay, so that's certainly the, the folks who are either making the recommendations, uh, who are actively leading up the procurement process, that's, that's helpful in that uh, position. Now in terms of the different personas, right, you, you identify different personas involved, sometimes it's both IT and the business, definitely there's procurement involved, um, architecture, so, um, and that's where it's, it's the social network is really what we're about here. So, and that's why, you know, I give the, I give the analogy Yelp, TripAdvisor, it's sort of like, it's a sort of quick analogy, but we don't go into TripAdvisor and then contact people, what did you think about that hotel? I saw you gave it three stars. However, this site is really about enabling people to build stronger networks, offline networks with one another. And we've actually found that people who work in IT today have weaker social, uh, professional networks than they ever did before. They're going to fewer events, there are fewer events to go to. Um, they're, because of reliance on online social networks, they're actually weaker offline social networks. So we're building a platform, we built a platform that enables them to start building the discussion. So they've read reviews of other users that look like it could be of interest. A developer will look at a developer's one, an architect will look at an architect one, business person look at a business person one, and then they start to message each other, trade their emails, trade their phone numbers, they connect with one another, because at the end of the day, they also want to share information that is 
even more sensitive, maybe about pricing, maybe about licensing, maybe about what kind of customer support did you get after the deal was done. That's really a lot of the key questions that people want to make when they're evaluating these kind of enterprise technology products. So, and that, those are the kind of things that happen offline. So we're the, the private social network that's going to enable people <coughs> to build this greater uh, professional graph in their offline world. Time for one more and then you can ask Russell out. Yes. Where have you got your initial content from and where and how fast do you expect it to grow? So uh, with the vendors, but where else? Sure. So uh, co their content, you could look at content two different ways. One is our taxonomy, um, and we spent a lot of time understanding different market segments and putting people in different areas and who gets included in what area. And, um, it's, it's good. You know, we're getting always requests from vendors, oh, you've left me off and we include them. So that's still evolving and, you know, we embrace the feedback from the vendors who feel like maybe we've left them off in order to improve the taxonomy structure of the site. Um, and then in terms of uh, reviews, so, you know, we built this from day one to be SEO optimized, okay? So, uh, you know, again, we don't sort of publicize it, but when people do, you know, all of these category names, right? So if you do a search for, you know, it says here, uh, application lifecycle management. We've optimized for application lifecycle management reviews, ALM reviews. And those are words that we can own because the individual players of, you know, within that category are, um, you know, that's going to be second or third or fourth level, but we're optimizing and we found that when people are doing their searches, when, when people, are, uh, enterprises are looking to do that research, they're entering things like the category name reviews or the category name vendors. So um, SEO is at this point our number one uh, way and, and uh, after we launch next month, uh, and start to build uh, publicity, uh, then I imagine also you know, we'll continue to, to grow and get more traffic. Thanks. Okay, thank you. So let's give uh, one more round of applause for all the presenters tonight.